Hello there everyone and welcome back. This is Tosashi and today I'm gonna do another skin showcase to add to my series and look at this beautiful caramel skin, the wandering panda. And I definitely think it's up there in my top favorite skins of the bear. I love the what is it called? The gourd at the at, at, at its back. And a casual pipe and a nice little Asian hat there. I'm not sure if it's Chinese or Vietnamese. I can't really distinguish the different uh, uh, nuances myself. So if anyone knows, please let me know in the comments. I'm actually curious about it. I love uh, learning about different cultures in general. Um, so here we go also with the Mila skin that I unlocked. A very cool skin and what I really like about this skin is that it's um, oh it starts raining real loud actually real heavy I love it I hope it's not too loud for you otherwise I will filter it out a little bit <coughs> but anyway I really love this Mila skin because it's very fantasyful and uh, since she is I would say like like a teenager I'm really glad that this is just a cute outfit where she looks gorgeous uh, and not sexualized in any way like some of the other skins so uh, in general I don't uh, don't endorse the sexualization of uh, young working people uh, having said that let's move on here Mila is one of my favorite pilots. I think her uh, her ability to reload faster and reload while dashing, basically those two abilities, um, are so immensely powerful and fun. Because she, I, I like in general when pilots uh, invite you to play the game differently than you would otherwise. Um, also, for example, because it's a dash, um, I uh, dash slash roll. I was lucky to pick up the purple uh, armor there. Um, I do tend to not use the skateboard as frequently as I normally would with pilots like Mila. So, there we go. Can I finish you off? Okay, there we go. Nice little sneaky kill. We are fighting there on the left. Let's uh, go and investigate. <coughs> um, where? There. Silver Deacon, can I get you? There we go. Alright, let's pick up this loot and then also go to uh, this other individual. Let's see here. Okay. I would like to have a better long range weapon still. Although the sniper rifle in general is pretty good. Um, okay, it seems to be pretty quiet over here. Ooh, that's actually a really good long range weapon, the iron cannon. But I go back to the sniper rifle because I already have a pretty good um, uh, laser gun. And the funny thing is, a year ago I would have never done this. I would have never, like, I would have picked like two or even three iron cannons <laughs> but um, since the nerfs um, I have been focusing more on other long range weapons and I noticed that especially against pilots iron cannon is a little bit um, underwhelming nowadays <clears throat> because because even with the golden iron cannon um, and you do it, I think it's a mistake, but even if you carry a golden iron cannon, iron, iron cannon, sorry, and you do headshots, you don't kill them. You don't do more than 200 plus damage with the crit. Um, and to me that feels wrong. Because if I have like a blue sniper rifle and I do a headshot, I do at least 200 damage. So... There's something a bit off there, but let's take a look at this beautiful skin here. I love it. I love caramel in general. I 
think it's still in my top 10 of most played mecha. And uh, in my last ranking video, I did rank Caramel as S+. Plus, and I think that's where it belongs because this mecha is tanky. It's one of the most tanky mecha in the game. Top 5, I think. Uh, I think it's only Doomlight, Hot Steel, and Trio. I'm not sure, actually. But yeah, if there's something bigger, it's Trio. And then it's already Caramel, I think. Uh, but on top of that, it does an immense amount of damage. And then it has this mobility that can get you anywhere. Oops, someone is running there under the bridge. And especially with Core 1 that I just picked up. Uh, oh, there we go. You shoot faster. Oh, <laughs> there we go for a little pulsar uh, uh, tactic over there. Where are you going? And, oh, missed that one. Keep jumping. Yeah, I'm running um, um, uh, faster fuel recharge and increased fuel with caramel because I noticed that it's a bit hungry when it comes to fuel consumption, and that definitely help, happens, helps out in the brawling as you can, as you just saw against the uh, Venturos there. <coughs> Evading those shots. I don't think that Ventors was playing so well though. Yeah, I'll speed up the video a little bit because in this match, I remember there was some nice uh, finals basically. Uh, but the route towards those finals were very empty. That sounds like an Aurora. Where are you going? Oh, up there? Oh no, not up, right there. So yeah, Core 1 on Caramel is amazing. Core 2 is also fun if you like uh, sniping and the sniping shots really become like uh, tank canisters in a way then. So the thing that I just did with uh, transforming mid... Uh, oh, there we go. Just follow in the Aurora wherever they go. This is the mobility of Caramel people. You can just chase after and the Aurora is trying to get away but without, without success there. I don't manage to find the pilot though, I think. No, lost track. I focused, uh, I prioritized getting the loot. So here we are, go again with the speed up. I love also the sound, <laughs> the sped up sound. It's uh, amazing. There we go. Made our way to Aurora again here. Yes, Aurora is not playing so aggressively, mostly trying to flee the whole time. Those cannon shots, man. So much damage. Good range. Good area of effect as well. Uh, let's see here. Someone is still there. Yeah, this is not really working so well for me. Hard to aim down so far away. I just try to finish it off with the uh, explosive sniper rifle that I uh, picked up earlier. There we go. Okay, I don't know why I first reloaded because when you <clears throat> when you wake up, you reload immediately. So uh, okay, let's go here towards the finals to uh, fight the Aurora one more time and there's someone else here shooting some exploding butts there's the Aurora showing themselves mm -hmm. using the hill to my advantage and I move away because the exploding butts are right behind me and again the Aurora it's not utilizing the environment too great. They're going for behind the bus, so that's that's smart. But my explosive radius is just too much. There we go. Yep. And there's a hot steel. Let's see if we can uh, have a nice brawl here. Hot steel is immediately going there behind the hill. But for me that doesn't matter. 
This alloy just come towards you. There we go. Leading the enemy a little bit. They flee again, and I just finishing them off. Finish them off with the secondary there. So now it's time to hunt down these two pilots and make sure they don't take me down. I have a full Maka. I have full healing resources. I'm in a really good spot here. But as you can hear, they are sniping. They're iron cannoning. How can I? So the thing with Caramos, it's not fast. It's not like you can easily uh, hunt people down after you've already um, taken their mecha down. But as you can see, you can harass really well, especially when they're inside. Mm -hmm. And this is basically... Uh, if I manage to pace myself carefully here, I will take them down. This time is in my favor. So let's let's just use that. Okay, one of them is showing themselves oh. on the skateboard. Oh, they did get away. Okay, that's one down. One more to go. I'm thinking here, so I left the core 2 there. Actually, in hindsight, um, it's probably better to have picked up the core 2 for better cannonballs. Especially for blasting people on the inside. Uh, what I also sometimes do, like what I do here, is utilize the tank mode just to scan the area a little bit better because sometimes your eyes kind of deceive you. But the like that's a built in scanner of the sniping weapon, the cannon, um, will highlight pilots, will highlight the enemy. So just a little bit of uh, visual aid there. It can definitely help finding. Uh, can definitely help in finding the enemy. Looks like Aurora is still MVP, but uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to stop that and take their throw. Sounds like they're inside of there. It's just oh yeah, they shot themselves on the left. And I'll just keep focusing here. Here is how you can see that the uh, uh, exploding bots end game are really not good because they are really easily uh, easily countered with most mecha. Actually, I was actually with all mecha because they only take one shot to take down, and I just don't do enough damage fast enough. Okay, so you will have to come out at some point, there we go, alright, blast to the face. Yeah, that was indeed without breaking a sweat, that was a pretty uh, controlled game in my favor. Um, I hope you all enjoyed it, yeah, very average damage there, I hope you enjoyed it and as always, have a beautiful day and peace.